Mr. Flanagan has watched Suicide Squad in theaters 15 times and shown no regret. And Mr. Damaris has not washed his left armpit since his second grade. Please welcome Josh Flanagan and Chris Damaris. <laughs> Ms. Dunkelman has started a rumor that the moon is flat and Mr. Kremke keeps painting lips on the sides of all of his cows. Please welcome Barbara Dunkelman and Max Kremke. I'm your host, John, John Reisinger. Reisinger. Welcome, Welcome to On The, the Spot. spot. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> didn't condone this. <laughs> didn't plan it. I don't appreciate it. Neither do I. I don't condone any of this. You know what? What if we all it. hit the gym and get a vodka spritzer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? I don't like that I'm this easy to parody. I hey. don't like it. And I don't like the way you're talking to all of us. Yeah. 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 Have a little more respect for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of respect I show you is a clear reflection of the amount of respect I have for myself, which is disdain and regret. John, can we say something? No, cool. this episode is brought to you by Simply Safe and Movement and Quip. And we have quip. to say that before we move on and to quip. whatever the hell is going to happen and now. And movement. Well, we have something we want to say. say. No, yeah. no yeah. there's more? There's, yeah. yeah. Why is there more? Because... I'm John, John Reisinger, Reisinger, and what? this is on, on the, the spot. spot. You didn't even do that. <laughs> John, um, we also have something that we would like to say. Stop do. it. John. Yeah, John. John. Yeah. We have something to say, too. I'm, I'm John, John Reisinger, and welcome to On the Spot. spot. <laughs> yes. John, John, do you ever sit around and wonder what hell looks like? I'm canceling the show. <laughs> No, that's we're not, can't cancel it. We're not I'm doing this. The show. We're not doing this episode. I'm not doing this. This is my show, and I don't have to deal with this. This is my show, and I don't have to deal with this. This is my show, and I don't have to deal with this. I have to deal with me all the time. I should not have to deal with me this much. Hey, now you know what it's like for us. I know, and I don't like and it. And for them. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't I, like you know it. what? I don't like it at all, either. I don't like okay. it. Okay. We have to actually do the show. Yeah, come on, you guys. Let's we do gotta the show. do the show. Let's do the show. I'm tired of this. Fuck this. Fuck this royally. <laughs> all right. We gotta... We gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Why does Barbara look the closest like me? <laughs> Why is Barbara the closest? Um, I gotta, I got, I gotta bush some shit up. Um, okay, so we gotta. <laughs> All right, we have, we have to get through some more business before we get to actual games, so we can do the show. First is going to be team names. I don't want to know what team names are. I don't want to know them either. But we have Me to neither. do this. You guys, why don't we just play the games? Yeah. <laughs> why, why am I Seinfeld? You guys, <laughs> why don't we just play the games? <laughs> All right. <laughs> me one and me two. What, what's your team name? It's a simple, it's, yeah. you should know, uh, but it's, it's true, true hell. hell. <laughs> Yes, this mm -hmm. is a true hell for me and for everybody because one of me is enough for the world. Five is just torture. Mm, we agree. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Hashtag true hell. I'm in it. What do you got? Me three and four. What do you guys got? Should we just put it up? Yeah, let's just put it it's up. It kind of goes with the other team name. <laughs> is five John Reisingers. <laughs> so, so if you want to just... Yes, yes. I know there's Did five John Reisingers on the set. <laughs> Y'all want to talk about movies? <laughs> yeah, what's my favorite movie? Oh, Upgrade. I love Titanic or <laughs> Star Wars or I don't know, something. This is actually Sharon Reisinger. That's Sharon, Sharon Reisinger. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is, this, I don't, nope, not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't Do you want to go there? Um, all right, so we have. It's not stop, cheating. Stop, stop, stop. It's not cheating if it's you, John. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cheat with myself plenty enough. Um, 
<laughs> so we also have a fun game we play now in hell that is called Satan Super Secret Swear, which is we have picked uh, my favorite swear word for the day. And uh, starting at the first game, first person to say the swear word, um, we celebrate and, and give them a frivolity and good news because they've said the secret swear word. And I have to uh, repeat, I'm not playing the game, so if I say it, shut up. But we're all you, John. Yeah, how's that gonna so work? So if any of us say it, just right. don't say it. Yeah, really threw a wrench in your <laughs> engine. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's, what do we have, do we have any? I'm so thrown off, Todd. <laughs> I'm so thrown off. I think I've gotten through everything I'm supposed to at the beginning of the show. Let's play a game called Quick Thinking. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be having a long discussion with my therapist about this. <laughs> you know, John, I also, I have something else I wanna tell you. Uh -huh. um, I'm John Reisinger and welcome to On The Spot. No, stop it. <laughs> Good one, John. Good one, John. You know, John, That's it's not... really starting to get old. I loved it, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. Quick thinking is the game where we're gonna give out a category and they're gonna come with the answer to the category back and forth, hot potato style, the twist says in the hell I'm gonna roll the dice and whoever I roll the dice on has to give their answer with that many words that are on the dice. They don't have to use the letter, blah, 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 whatever. We're gonna play the goddamn game. Um, I'm getting real mad. Me too. <laughs> this is how much you know that I anger myself, is how angry I am at you guys right now. Um, all right, uh, let's find out who's gonna be our special John for this round. Um, it's gonna be uh, Barbara John, um, which just sounds like my southern cousin. Um, <laughs> Look like it too. <laughs> yeah, you too. Um, <laughs> Can we just get a quick back and forth from me and real John? <laughs> I can't even tell, John. I can't even tell. It's Wait, the which same one shot. is which? Yeah. Um, I don't know which one to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> What's our first category? Elon Musk's next terrible invention. Barbara, all of your answers need to be five words. Fuck! <laughs> Yay, we're back to making other people in pain on this show, other than me. Um, so, we'll start off with what letter? S, everyone has to use S except for Barbara. She has her own rules. We'll start off with Chris on this round. I need ideas for Elon Musk's next terrible invention. Let's put time on the clock. I'll call it good or bad answers. Ready, set, go! Uh, Space XXX. <laughs> Is that just porn? Yeah. I'll give points to that. Max? Secret Grimes album that's all about uh, deunionization. <laughs> that seemed very specific, and I'll give was. points to that. Josh? Several clones of John Reisinger. Yes. <laughs> Double points for that. Huh? Barb? Uh, toilets that also have wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. B, uh, Chris? Uh, uh, Beer that can go to space. <laughs> I'm noticing a theme. <laughs> Points, Max. Uh, booty blast and Elon nuggets that you can make in your microwave. No, no points to that. Josh. Better jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> points, Barbara. Uh, cars that are also toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll give points to that. E, Chris. Uh, electric uh, trees. Yes, Max Quick. Everyone dies. <laughs> I'll give some points to that. Um, and just to clarify, the way this show works is that when I say I give you points, I'm actually taking away points because we're in hell and I take away your points. Cool. Hey, you know, um, I think you guys had some good answers. I think, you know, Josh, you should get five points and Chris, you should get that's 10. That's not how this works. I agree. I thought that's you, not how this works. You did good. You should get 10. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, 15. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Let's not, you know let's I not think sell I did pretty ourselves decently, short. And I'm going to give myself. 15 points. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I love that given godlike powers you guys are playing with 10 and 15 points. <laughs> That's like getting a genie and wishing for a ham sandwich. <laughs> you haven't ever done that? <laughs> um, Sometimes you just really want a ham sandwich. I yeah. guess so. John, what? we're a humble guy. So. <laughs> this is the Venom trailer. We are John. Um, so uh, let's play that again. And the person who's going to be playing it differently this time is Chris. Um, so, what's our next category? New nicknames for the clitoris. <laughs> oh, God. 
Do you pronounce it clitoris or clitoris? Let me tell you, as John Reisinger, I know my way around a clitoris. <laughs> and I say it clitoris. <laughs> Give that. So deal with that. That's right. <laughs> That's me. Uh, That's a picture one know exactly where the G spot is. Yes. Yeah. I've seen three of them. <laughs> two, two, wait, it's two and a half. Two How many half. have I seen? He's rounding <laughs> up. Um, okay, two words have to be your answer, Chris. Um, what's our starting letter? H. We'll go to the expert at the group of the clitoris, uh, Max, on this one. Ready, set, go. Happy Town. <laughs> yes. Josh. How does this work? <laughs> yes. Barbara. He's not going to know where to find this. Yes, exactly. Uh, Chris. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, D. D. <laughs> Max. My uh, dingle, dingle dangle. <laughs> yes, Josh. Don't miss it. <laughs> yes. Barb. Uh, uh, dongle dingle. No, no points. <laughs> Chris. Uh, Google me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A. Uh, a. A really great place to visit. <laughs> yeah, we'll give points to that. Josh? A John Reisinger favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Points. Barb? Uh, a little man in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Quick, Chris. Uh, uh, apples. Oranges. <laughs> 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 Perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good, John. I, I want that explained, but I'm also okay with the mystery. <laughs> hey, However, you... I am going to berate Chris for having to count on his fingers two words. <laughs> 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 I'm, on, I'm on backup mustache. Yeah. I like how Chris kind of looks like John's Italian cousin Jimmy. Hey. Hey. It's Jimmy Reisinger. Hey, hey. you get two points for that. Oh, thanks. Oh. Seven. Oh. Um, John, do you have a hair tie? My, my, our hair is getting really bad. <laughs> no, mine stays with me. Um, steal it from Jimmy over here. Yeah. Um, you know what? You know what's funny about the hair tie is. As John, I know that I actually use hair tie on all of my hair. So you, <laughs> Armpits. Yeah, yeah. Scrotal. I, have, I have a pube hair tie right now. Um, actually, that's incorrect. We are we are manscaped down there. Oh, Thank okay. you very much. Well, um, shaved bear. That's a little, little plucked. <laughs> like, like a, a desert, tree. like a glossy desert dune. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like down there. Desert Dune. I want there to be a service at a waxing spa called Glossy Desert Dune. <laughs> yeah, I'd like the Glossy okay. Desert Dune down there. We, Give it a uh, Glossy Desert Dune. Oh my god. Okay, so let's do uh, our points after all of that. Uh, <laughs> Todd, 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 can we fix those? Those are about five points short. Todd? Todd's not in charge Todd. of the points. It's, it's the booth babies. Babies? Um, I would never call them babies. I respect them. We respect crew. them. Okay, Some whatever. Johns have respect. <laughs> whatever. There we go. Thanks, guys. They make um, my show run. Cool. I still get to torture people on this show. So before we do uh, that and find out who I get to torture, which one of me I get to torture, <laughs> I have a little something to say. Uh, so you probably have a laptop or a desktop, uh, at least a monitor, a game console sitting right at your place right now. And I bet you wouldn't want your stuff to get stolen because it's expensive to replace and, and we don't have lots of monies. Um, did you know the Better Business Bureau heard more than 5,000 complaints about alarm companies in just one year? That puts home security in the top 10% of most complained about industries. Simply Safe is fixing home security. They got rid of contracts and hidden fees. They work hard to earn their customers' business instead of relying on tricks and fine print. Uh, Simply Safe is a company that uh, treats you right. It's why they've got an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau after 10 years and have over 40,000 five star reviews online. Simply Safe is what home security should be. You're getting the best protection period. I got a uh, set of Simply Safe products and I set them all over my house. I love it. I, I love the fact that I can uh, feel like my house is secure and I can check on it on my phone, that kind of thing. It's fantastic. Highly recommend. Uh, protect 
What is valuable to you without jumping through hoops? Learn more about Simply Safe today at simplysafe.com slash spot. That's simplysafe.com slash spot to protect your home and family with an A plus home security system. Simplysafe.com slash spot. <laughs> Solid, solid read, John. Thank you. I want to torture people. Um, uh, so I'm going to torture uh, John. I'm going to torture John. Me too. Me too. You know what? I'm torturing John. I kind of like torture. Cool. I'm going to torture the John to my right. I'm going to torture, torture Josh. Um, so, Josh. <laughs> Josh. 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 <laughs> Stop it! We're, we're trying to do a show. We're doing the show. We're doing a show. God, that guy's um, hot. So we have a new segment here. It's one of our torches that we're calling uh, "Acting Hell." Mm. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of an acting uh, exercise with you, Josh. <laughs> Stop it! I like that your hair is coming out underneath the wig at certain <laughs> points. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put time on the clock, okay. and then we're going to have a camera do a close-up on your face. Um, which camera are we going to go? We're going to go to camera over there. And so <laughs> I'm going to yell at emotions, and I'm going to need you to give me that emotional range as I yell them out, and we're just going to go through a bunch and really test out your, your uh, uh, malleability. Is it, is it just faces, or can I just say things? facial expression, okay? Right. So um, what's our, our timer going to be? I think we're going to do 15 <laughs> seconds, Todd. I'm turned on. Yeah. I'm turned on. It's the right. John I never knew I wanted. This is also this is also my gift to the internet of more gif ability. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Ready? Set. Happy. Sad. Confused. Horny. <laughs> Deadly. Masculine. Feminine. Upset. <laughs> Seeing Josh for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Those could all be some variation of horny. <laughs> yeah. I think it was just horny after horny after horny. I like to that. work a little, a little horny into everything I do. I'm John Reisinger. That was, that was also Josh's O face. <laughs> um, that was good. Thank you. Um, Very good. Because you did so good, minus 30 points to everybody else. Uh, ignore that. No. Disregard. No. Disregard. Or just, Disregard. Uh, Strike just from record. We just add 30 more points. No, to stop everyone. it. You know what? Let's go up. Yeah. We're getting we're getting out of hell. Yeah. Together. No, we're not. We're in hell. That's Johns, how it works. Hold hands. You know. Hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> hands. <laughs> Is this how with the out? power of John? Yeah. the power. Ah. We're out. We're free. Wow. Our second game wow. is impromptu pitch. <laughs> Impromptu Pitch is the game where I'm gonna give out person, place, and genre, and my teams are gonna come up with a movie idea with those genres the way we play. In hell, though, is that instead of one team playing, everyone plays together, and to ring the bell, we will rotate throughout the entire cast. So everyone has to participate mm -hmm. and enjoy this fun, fun game. Um, so, uh, what's our first set of person, place, and genre that they're gonna come with a movie for? Uh, Mario in Las Vegas, and this is a heist film. Um, and the person who's gonna start us off in the rotation is going to be Josh, and they are talking. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go we ahead. We have to do the show. No, we're doing it. Okay. We're always doing it. Josh we're is going to start us off on this one. Mario in Las Vegas. This is a heist film, and we'll rotate around clockwise. Ready, set, go. Mario, an Italian immigrant, wakes up in the Trump Hotel in Las Vegas. <laughs> and he, uh, who is, of course, played by uh, Morgan Freeman, um, and Hey, don't, Morgan, so Morgan Freeman as Mario says, hey, it's me, it's Mario. <laughs> and then he uh, goes down to the convention center where he goes to a show and uh, it's really interesting because the lights finally go down and he's really just sitting there waiting with trepidation, trying to. Uh, and when he opens his eyes and the lights come back on, he realizes that every single person uh, in that convention center is now gone. And all the money that all the booths had was taken away. And in surprise, he looks around, shocked, terrified, sweating, and he says, he says, I'm John Reisinger, and welcome to On The Spot. <laughs> Good.
good one, John. Thanks, John. That was a classic John bit, John. Yeah. That was really John the spot. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end, but I need it to end. Hopefully soon. with John killing himself. <laughs> <laughs> one All right. One. Hey, suicide's not the answer. Since it doesn't matter, since Chris did the stupid joke, minus 100 points to everybody. <laughs> everybody? What you, yes. What do you think of that, John? You know what? As John, I'm going to say. That's fair. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm fair with that. It's okay. Good. Fair ruling. What's our? I, I don't know what's what's to do with this energy that's on the set. Hey, uh, Barbara, what's the name of the movie? Uh, uh, it's a me, John. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Even you didn't like that joke. Um, I don't like any of my jokes. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you are John. Mm -hmm. No one likes your joke. We're all in this together. What's our second set of genres? <laughs> genres? Uh, genres! Le Woo! LeBron James in the Upside Down, a sci-fi film. Starting off with Barbara on this movie. Excellent. Um, ready, set, go. LeBron James, who everyone knows is a famous basketball player, um, <laughs> is uh, about to shoot a three-pointer. And then he uh, he realizes that he's in a, a scary place, and he's like, "Oh, this this ain't no good, but I'm I'm pissed off about it, and I, I don't like that, and I'm I don't want to be a bitch, but I'm gonna be all right." <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, good job. What is this? You, wait. <laughs> we, Congratulations. Oh, why thank you. We talked about this. Oh. We can't win this. Oh. And, and then uh, LeBron <laughs> uh, came up and he ran into Eleven, who uh, ripped him in half. <laughs> and then he consulted his basketball manual that tells you everything about the rules of that game. And then uh, Eleven comes up to his disembodied self and says, I'm John Rising, and welcome John to Stop. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> So, Max was our winner of the super secret swear. <laughs> so minus a thousand points to Max. Where's Max? <laughs> Max, I get see, in here. I I've got to get this shit going. I've got a gym appointment to get to. Got to go, I don't know, run around town lake, pick up my children or whatever. Take a lot of pictures of dogs. Take a lot of pictures of dogs and say, hope, it ha hope you have a good day. He's a good boy. He's uh, a good boy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. These all sound like wonderful things. <laughs> this is a good boy. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> um, so I don't care who gets points, who doesn't get points that round. So we're You know what? I think it's fine. We'll take this over. I think uh, about John? 50 points to John, 40 points away from John, 75 to John. My man, John. And then, um, you know what? I felt like I brought it the entire way. I'm going to go minus three for me. Okay. okay. Uh, before we go to our next torture and find out what points are, uh, here in Austin, the sun came out last week and it feels, uh, it feels good to be outside. It's, it's hot. And just in time, Movement is dropping all new sunglasses for the scorching weather. That's right, those Movement watch guys make high quality, trendy sunglasses at a fair price. Uh, these shades are quality acetate. You can get them polarized and they start at just $70. These are seriously my go-to shades. I own actually a couple pairs now. I love them and I love every time they come up with a new line of them. Uh, so be sure to check out their store to see their new ones all the time. Like I said, these are high quality premium acetate frames. No cheap plastic here. You gotta see these. They have all sorts of styles to choose from. Classic, trendy, round, aviator, mirrored, polarized. For him and for her, you're sure to find the perfect pair. Get out in the sun and look good this summer, even if you're not the outdoorsy type. Movement sunglasses are great for driving, waiting for the bus, a perfect way to keep your eyes out of the glaring sun. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com slash on the spot. You know Movement for how they revolutionized the watch industry. Now is the time to check out their sunglasses. Go to movement.com slash on the spot. Join the movement. <laughs> <laughs> What are the points? What is the point? <laughs> what is the point of really any of it? 
Oh, there's a K used. Okay, so Max and that. Chris are losing the most, so they get to play my next game, which is Love Potion 666. What's going to happen is that we're going to turn the cameras uh, uh, <gasps> to a special split screen, and you guys are going to be facing your partners. And on the monitor, you're going to see how it's going to look. And I need you guys to do a nice little makeout session for me with each other, which has now turned into some sort of weird fanfic thing about me. Is this John and John? So let's put is some time us? on the clock. That's you and Chris okay. doing it. Oh. All right. So ready, set, go. <laughs> No, they touched. They touched. <laughs> oh, no, stop. 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 <laughs> I get so smoky in here all of a sudden. Oh, that was going to be weird regardless. <laughs> And somehow that made it worse. Um, I am so I turned am, on right now. I am, I am diamonds. I <laughs> diamonds right now. My clitoris is rock hard. <laughs> yeah. A classic John catchphrase. Classic John. <laughs> um, uh, so good job to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, fuck you. We're not going to do points at all. We're just going to oh. oh. just come again. Come again is our game. You guys are going to be acting out a scene. The twist is whenever I uh, make a noise, you guys have to redo the last line you did. The twist in hell is that I have two noises. Uh. The bell means you have to do a kind of more positive or a cheerier or a happier version of the line. <laughs> the doorbell is a nastier, negative, worse version of the line. And we'll see how that works out with each scene. Um, since everyone's been playing, we'll go ahead and start off with the team to my left to start us off on this one. So. Is five John Reisingers. Let's see what your scene is going to be. Max, a lawyer, has come to visit Barbara, his pathologically violent client, in prison for an update on her case. Unfortunately for him, he isn't bringing good news. So, that was nasty. Uh, excuse well, you. I can't smell it anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah I can't smell <laughs> nothing. Thank you for bringing that into this joke. Uh, why don't you guys take the space and, uh, and set up your scene? And uh, listen for the noises, for the cues of you guys redoing your lines. However you guys want to set up this uh, jailhouse scene, you can do it. Okay. Ready, set, uh, Max, go. John, it was, it was so unfortunate to find the DNA results. It was John. It was, it was five Johns. It was two Johns. It was zero Johns. You're free. <laughs> That's great! I mean, I was really hoping to get back on the streets and just get back to killing. I mean, um... I mean, smiling at everyone who walks by. I mean, just sticking my dick in everything that I choose. You know, and that's, that's great because as John Reisingers, we know that we do that. As John Reisingers, we're given the power. We have become, we have ascended! And now we rule over space and time! Space and time! Space and time, John! Let's go th just through the jail and free all the criminals! John, don't even worry about the jail, free the world! The world! Free every, free the universe! All the aliens! Free all the aliens! <laughs> go into space! And bring them back and down to Earth and just call it chaos! There's no, there'll be no more existence anymore. Mm -mm. There will only be John Reisinger. Oh. There will only be John Reisinger. There will, there will only, only be John Reisinger. There, there will only be John Reisinger. 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 I'm gonna go and give 10 points to John Rice here. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty good, guys. Pretty solid. <laughs> What's the next game? Apparently, I'm not needed anymore. <laughs> but you are. You're the only thing that's needed. <laughs> so who cares what the fuck just happened? Let's play another <laughs> round of that. Let's go to hashtag true hell for their scene. 
Josh, the eldest son of a famous circus family, is taking the time to finally admit to his dad, Chris, that he will not be continuing the family business. Cool, I get the scene talking to my dad. That's cool. <laughs> oh, oh <shit>. God. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm John. It doesn't apply to me. <laughs> Your dad is still alive and well. Okay, we're gonna roll with this. With opposite roles. <laughs> this is also the Father's Day episode, is it not? <laughs> That's not even a joke, it is! Wow, John. <laughs> All right, so we've canceled this round of the game. <laughs> and we're not playing it. <laughs> hey, did you know that you're most likely <laughs> brushing your teeth wrong? If you're not doing it long enough or forgetting to change your brush on time, that's because most brands focus on selling flashy gimmicks rather than brushing your teeth. Better brushing, but not Quip. Quip is an electric toothbrush that's a fraction of the cost of bulkier brushes while still packing just the right amount of vibrations to help clean your teeth. Quip's built-in timer helps you clean for the dentist recommended two minutes with guiding pulses that remind you when to switch sides. Not only that, but Quip's subscription plans are for your health, not just convenience. They deliver new brush heads on a dentist recommended schedule every three months for just $5, including free shipping worldwide. I love my Quip. You guys can't copy me when it is because I'm talking about my personal experience with my Quip brush, which I love, tells me when to switch around my mouth because I don't know when to, how long to brush my teeth and I hate figuring it out on my own. Quip starts at just $25 and if you go to getquip.com slash on the spot right now, you'll get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash on the spot, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash on the spot. <laughs> There's a level of experiencing that that I don't think anybody else gets to understand, which is hearing two people next to you mouthing words, which makes a <laughs> weird sound. <laughs> and it was like in stereo because two people were doing this, like sort of wet sound, but not quite doing it. It was weird. I'm very familiar with this sound. Um, <laughs> it's, like, it was, it's like masturbating with your hand just a little bit too open. Very familiar with this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, what are the, I don't even know what the points are. Let's just end this fresh hell of mine. What are they? Yeah! <laughs> we did it, John. Good we job, are all John true Reisinger. hell. We are all John Reisinger. Uh, thank you for participating in this Reisinger. extra hellish version we, of On the Spot. We are all John Reisinger. We are all, we are all John, John Reisinger. Some I'm weird... John Reisinger, and this is On the Spot. <laughs> Um, let's end the show. And I'm John Reisinger and this is On The Spot! I'm John Reisinger and this is On The Spot! That's not even the right line. It's I'm John Reisinger and welcome to On The Spot. This We're ending the show. Right. Cut to Ed. Cut to Ed. Cut to Ed. The show's over. Stop it. End it. End it. <laughs> <laughs>